right, we have beer from where? That's right, Union Craft Brewing and D.C. Brow out of Baltimore, Maryland and Washington, D.C. or the District of Columbia, U.S. of A. Yay, yay, if you prefer. That's right, so you know what time it is. It's time for DJ to go local. That's right, guys, we're going local yet again with another lovely libation that has been created by Union Craft Brewing and D.C. Brow. Now, if they've created it together, that must mean it's a collab beer. And what collab beer do we have for them today? We have their Yonder City's Farmhouse IPA. This is sort of a Belgian-ish kind of IPA because they describe it as a West Coast IPA meets a Belgian-style beer or Belgian pale ale. This is a limited serving. It was brewed once before in 2013 that I can remember and I think was one of the first um, collab beers that Union did back in the day. Now, this beer clocks in at 6.5% ABV and 50 IBUs. For hops in this beer, they're using Citra and Simcoe. That sounds pretty fucking delicious. They are also using, for malt, they're using Belgian Pale, Wheat, Oats, and Rye. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that sounds like it'll be nice pouring down my neck. And they're using Belgian Ale Yeast for this beer. Now, I will do this gingerly, but the can on the back has really cool gra graphics on the front. And the back on the bottom of the can where it gives the date of this three-day-old beer at time of recording. It tells you, um, flip the face. I think that's what it says. You'll see. Oh, uh, yeah. Flip the face. So you can see one way it has this face, and the other way it has this face. Awesome. This also reacts under a black light. That's pretty freaking cool. So, you know what? I'm hoping this won't explode on me now when I open it. Time to crack the top on this. Get it in the snifter. My favorite snifter. My Colossus snifter. And tell you what's up with Yonder Cities from DC Brow and Union. Brewed at Union, by the way. Let's see. Ah, nice crack. No explosion. Let's get in the snifter. Mm-mm-mm. Hell yes. Here we go. I think I may have had this when they brewed it last time. I can't remember. So many IPAs have gone down my palate since then. You know what? If I told you I remembered, I'd be lying. And I don't like to do that. So, let's see what's up with the appearance. It's a lovely, hazy, sort of, well, like, I guess, amber yellow, sort of like, I guess, clover honey yellow. And a lot of gold glints coming through, quite hazy. We've got a mm, finger of crispy white head, pretty tight bubbles, a little, little bit of soap sudsiness, not much at all. Actually, when I swirl it, the soap suds go away. We're actually getting a little tiny bit of alcohol legs tearing down the inside. It's 6.5, 6.5 to 7, that's when it starts. Um, we may get some glass lacing when it goes down. My neck, that is. But look at that. That's a delicious IPA in the glass, or Belgian IPA. But a beer like this, with those hops and the Belgian yeast esters, it's all going to be about smelling good, too. So let's see what's up with the aroma. Mm, man, big, big citric punch. Pine, herbaceous notes, grapefruit, lots of grapefruit. Mm, wow. And then coming in some like bubblegum aromas and some spice. I suspect that's from the Belgian yeast. And I guess maybe the rye malt as well. Not a hint of alcohol. It smells really bright. Now this three days are all old so or new in the can, so it's gonna smell bright, but man, it's a really vibrant aroma. Lots of popping citrus, a little bit of pineapple and tropical fruit action going on. Mm, all tied together with that spice, I guess, driven by the rye and the Belgian yeast and that bubblegum thing going on. Smells freaking delicious. I'm diving in. Cheers! Mmm. Yeah! Yum. Mmm. Man. That is freaking tasty. Right up in front, you get hit with citrus. Like citrus zest. And then... It's like a perception of orange at first, but then in the middle of the tongue, it takes over with like grapefruit flavor. There's a little bit of pineiness, a fair amount of dankness, not really big dank tank kind of beer. The alcohol is completely hidden and it has a quite dry finish to it. Um, that spiciness is in there for sure. That's totally in the back end. And I can't tell whether it's the rye malt. If I didn't know there was rye malt in there, I would say, okay, there's probably Belgian yeast or something like that in there. I get the same flavor perception kind of from that. It's almost like a spicy spicy sort of licorice thing in some ways. But man, totally hidden alcohol, super crushable. Well, let me get another taste of this. Mm. Bright, smooth, nice carbonation, medium mouthfeel. It's not grainy or malty or anything like that. Yum. 
I guess the oats are giving it that nice mouthfeel. The oats combined with the wheat. But, wow, super tasty beer. Easy to crush this for sure. 6.5%, I guess, like I said, is totally imperceptible in this. You could down this bad boy with a quickness. So, man, really, really tasty IPA. I'm not surprised both Union and um, DC Brow make top-notch IPA, some of the best in the region. And I would drink their stuff any day. I've been in Union several times, um, countless times actually at this point, as D DC Brow as well. You know, when I, sometimes when I got a really hard day on the Capitol Beltway, I'm like, fuck it. I stop into DC Brow and have me a little taster or something. Not too much because if you're driving, you do not drink a lot, guys. That's the worst thing you could ever do. I have a little taster or something, picks me up and makes that traffic a little more fucking bearable. Anywho, I'm waffling on. That's what I do. You know, I digress. Let's grade this beer. Rate beer gives it, at time of recording, an 85. Come on, really? Ugh, you guys know my feelings about rate beer. Beer Advocate is giving this a 92. Now, I don't know if that's anybody fresh reviewing this because it said retired beer on there. And people don't seem to use Beer Advocate and rate beer much anymore. Accurate details seem to be coming from untapped. Though you don't get a lot of verbiage, you do get some perception in numbers. And for this beer, they're giving this 3.94 caps, which is definitely, I'd say, into their A range. I'm going to go 95 on this beer. It's super tasty, super easy to drink. I would drink this again in a heartbeat. I would buy it again. I hope they brew it again. And for coolness factor, this can is fucking awesome, dude. It's some of the, that's some of the coolest graphics I've ever seen. It's not actually printed. It's a wrap on the can, a shrink wrap band. So cool stuff, man. And I'm happy again with another beer. The only beer that I think from DC rather uh, not the yeah DC Brow like better than this one um, is maybe uh, smells like freedom. That was just a fucking just blast and dang tank fun. Anywho, I'm waffling on. Ah, we gotta talk about something important now. We gotta talk about thinking globally and drinking locally. I am getting it done. I even got the shirt on to fucking prove it. Are you getting it done? Are you supporting your local brewers? That's how we've gotten to at time of recording. Over 5,300 breweries in the United States. That fucking rocks the heezy. Let's keep that momentum going. Keep supporting the craft beer movement. Support your local brewers. Also, if you could do me a big favor and rate, comment, subscribe, especially if this is your first time with us, you're new to DJ BrewTube, that would be freaking awesome. And if you could also, while you're at subscribing or whatever, maybe, or whatever you're doing, comment and stuff, you could smash the like button because that, along with, Probably one to three cans of Yonder City's Farmhouse IPA. Most definitely put my big ass local drinking happy face on. So to the next DJ Brewtube, I got nothing but a hell of a bunch of Yonder City's Farmhouse IPA drinking love for you. I'm going to keep consuming this kind of Belgian IPA and West Coast IPA. Had a baby ah, sort of beer here. And you know what's coming for you now. That's right. A big peace out!